Um, can either of you guys explain the programming concept known as reflection? Ooh, what is it? Can it be applied to game code in Unity? Can it or should it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like that meme, uh, that Jurassic Park meme where Ian Malcolm's like, no one no one asked if we should do it. Yeah. <laughs> they were too preoccupied with if we could. No one asked if we should. Yeah. Um, do you want to take this one or will I? I think that you'll have a more technical answer. Um, but, you know, from what I understand, and I, I've used reflection, but I've never really dived in. I understand it's a very expensive, uh, it's very expensive to use reflection. And uh, so if you're, you know, using, it's game development. So you want to optimize as much as possible and, you know, that's that's my kind of high level answer. Mm -hmm. It's not very optimal, so I, people don't typically use it. But I so, think yeah, it's, it's going to get into the weeds. It's it's literally runtime compiling. So I mean, we take it for granted that a compiler now happens so fast you can just basically press a button and build your project. But if you ever listen to a talk by anybody who's been programming for twenty years or more, what they're going to tell you is compiling used to take, you know, hours maybe. <laughs> At, at, even when it got good, it was still 25, 30 minutes, depending on what you're compiling. So we take for granted how much work is involved in literally building your code and compiling it into DLLs and that kind of thing. Um, and if you're doing reflection, you're effectively reading your code and then, well, reflection initially is just reading it, but then you're probably going to be running code once you read it, right? You're going to compile it to something or you're going to generate things from the code. So usually I do not recommend it in any game scenario whatsoever. It's useful for two cases, though. It's useful for anything that's event-driven, not loop-driven. So games are, are loop-driven because you're basically doing stuff per frame. But if you're doing something where you've built an app in Unity that's not dependent on a game loop, so turn-based or something, you could technically get away with it. You still shouldn't do it, but you could get away with it. But the best case for an actual practical application inside of um, a game would be tool development. So I actually do use a bit of reflection on a number of my projects. Because what I do is I read the folder structure and the files I have, and I generate uh, consts for the actual instances and entities I've got. So instead of writing a giant list of enums, which, by the way, don't use enums for things that aren't a closed list. So use enums for days of the week. There's only ever going to be the amount there are. If that changes, you've got a bigger problem than your software. Don't use them for things like number of weapon types, because that will change over the course of your application, and you just it's not what it's for. Um, so what I do is I just make a public class and I use uh, static fields and the static field I just add one for each different entity type I have the reason why it's only a compile time safety on a string and the string can be used dynamically it gives you a lot more freedom uh, you can do generators all sorts of fun stuff long story short you don't have to write those in manually it gets a bit tedious if you're writing public static read only string or public const string whatever it is for each and every type of weapon or gun or level or scene or whatever you can use reflection to basically say, read this folder, get the different instances, and then build that file for you. So you can use reflection in editor to do things that would otherwise require you to write repetitious or similar code. And that's a very good case for it because when you start getting into things like uh, multiple types of the same entities or variations of things, if it's not prefab based, but code based, you can actually do some really good data manipulation there and have it automatically save you a lot of time. So.